When I was at primary school, my mum always used to tell me that I would need to work twice as hard as everyone else, and that was because I looked different to everybody else. Oh, that's a nice bit How old were you? From a young girl, Laisha Johnson knew she wanted to be a lawyer. <laughs> Growing up in Arnold in Nottinghamshire, her friends and family were right behind her. Others were less encouraging. I've had quite a few people tell me, you know, um, you know, what, why don't you try something else, try performing arts, try, you know, going into acting or something like that. Law is obviously quite competitive and, it, you know, it takes the strongest and, you know, the smartest, but um, that didn't stop me. And it didn't stop her. In 2018, she graduated with a 2-1 degree in law at Nottingham Trent University. Laisha got the rewards her hard work deserved. Many black, Asian and ethnic minority students, though, don't. Because of what's said to be an inbuilt bias in our higher education system. Last year, British universities awarded top degrees, a first or upper second, to 82% of their white students, but only 69% of their BAME students, a difference of 13%. This disparity between ethnic backgrounds has been going on for years and is known as the attainment gap. It's extremely annoying because we should all get, you know, the same opportunities and have the same access to, you know, whatever is out there. ITV News Central has obtained figures for the attainment gap for universities across the Midlands. Only three had a gap in single figures. In the vast majority of cases, the figure was between 10 and 19 per cent. Some universities, though, had a gap of 20 per cent or more. It's absolutely clear why this is happening. Universities are institutions of structural and institutional racism that continue to persist. Higher education institutions are spaces of whiteness and white privilege, where whiteness is considered to be the, the accepted norm. So when BME students enter university with compa comparable A-level grades, they do not have the same experience. So they do not leave with the same results. The implications of the attainment gap are clear. Students with top degrees are more likely to get the top jobs and reach top positions in society. There are various factors which could explain the gap. Some say universities have too much of a white perspective in their teaching. There are also very few academics from a BAME background. Out of 21,000 in the UK, only 140 are black. Miles Smith-Thompson and Afua Achiampong believe it's high time there was a level playing field. As officers in their student unions, both made it their mission to fight inequality. We look at the notion of being a role model and when you're a black student and you're looking up and you can't see people who see or sound like you, it can be discouraging. I never really noticed the presence of other black students and for me that was a sign that university isn't for everyone and universities definitely do not cater towards diverse students. I'm proud to be joining University of Leicester today as the new President and Vice-Chancellor. Professor Nishan Kanagaraja is a rare breed indeed, a university leader from a BAME background. He's pledged to increase diversity amongst his staff and eliminate the attainment gap at his university by 2025. The reason I'm so committed to it is that if this was the case with male and female students, if you imagine 20 female students got 22% less than the male counterparts, it simply would not be acceptable. Universities UK told us it's clear that there is much more to be done to address racial inequality within education, with continued disparities between graduate outcomes across different groups, which will require an unequivocal commitment to change. Many universities have made a considerable effort to address this inequality, but there is still a long way to go. So what of the Black Lives Matter movement? Could this be the catalyst to make our universities more inclusive? That's a really interesting question. So the optimist in me <laughs> likes to think, yes, we will change and hopefully things will be different for our children. But the pessimist in me thinks, well, we've been here before. Come back and ask me in five years time and then we can answer that question. University remains at the very pinnacle of our education system. Your chances of excelling, it seems, though, 
are still linked to the colour of your skin. Peter Bean, ITV News.